Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I will be presenting to you the fishbone diagram in unit 1.7 of IB Business Management. This is only for HL, so if you're SL, um, you, you can skip this video. The table of content from the unit uh, 1.7 on my channel will be fishbone diagram for today's video. Then the upcoming videos will include the decision tree, the force field analysis, and the Gantt chart. So the fishbone diagram. The Fishbone Diagram is a visual organizational planning tool that supports your decision making or the manager's decision making. It's specifically, it's specifically there for you to find the cause for an issue in your organization. Um, the Fishbone Diagram looks like a well, it looks like a diagram and has a head uh, which stands for the problem. I'm sorry, it, the fishbone diagram looks like a fish. Um, that's what they're trying to replicate with it. And the, there's a head of the fish on the right side, which represents the problem. Then there are the, the main roots um, or the, the bones, the main root causes that are the four M's. And the, in the four M's are included management, manpower, machines, and materials. These are the typical four main causes that are included in the IB syllabus for this for this fishbone diagram. Um, and they, in the fishbone diagram, they pretty much represent the main bones of the fish. And then um, within these um, main bones, there are smaller bones attached to the, attached to these matching main bones. And these represent more detailed descriptions of possible causes within these four M's. So this is just a small um, depiction of the fishbone diagram. As told you guys before, um, on the right you can see the head with the problem. And then here, um, the four M's, which we just talked about. But here they have it a little bit different. They put in method in instead of um, well, they put in measurement and environment, which is both not included in the in the IB version of this uh, of this thing. Um, and then you can see within these main routes, there are the smaller detailed problems. For example, machine. There's the speed of the machines and the RPM. Or for example, um, in the environment, they talk about how it's maybe too humid or climate. And that might be the cause for the for the pr problem that's uh, not listed here. Okay, so advantages and disadvantages for the fishbone dry diagram. So the first advantage would be that it succ succinctly displays and visualizes the possible causes. This can be very helpful because sometimes you just want a clear picture of what's going on the, in the business. Um, uh, a disadvantage, on the other hand, would be that there's no depth in this fish diagram. There's not a lot of depth in this fish diagram. It's too simple for big and complex business problems as, as you usually have them in real life. Another benefit of this diagram would be that the decision-making process is aided by the display of the causes of the problem under themes. That's um, to do with this Again, this clear visualization, um, the the clear formatting of this thing, and the last um, the last benefit is also that the diagram is very easy to follow. So they basically all tie together these benefits. But the easy to follow part is also very important as a benefit, as it's um, it's very helpful in later in life in business when you can just present to your business part partner in a very simple and easy to follow way what's going on in the business. For example, if you have a meeting with other with your business partners and then you present something like this, it's very simple to um, to understand what's going on. Now the second disadvantage would be that this is a qualitative tool, meaning that there's no quantifiable data included. So for example, um, you cannot see how much each factor contributes to the problem. And the last disadvantage would be it's difficult to display the interrelated nature of most business problems. So thank you for watching. 
and I'll see you in my next video.